Hi guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at an example of the problem solving strategy, make a diagram. So here's our problem. Tabitha stood on the middle rung of a ladder. She climbed up five rungs, then moved down two rungs, and then climbed up seven rungs. Then she climbed up the remaining two rungs to the top of the ladder. How many rungs are in the whole ladder? So we want to start by making sure that we understand the problem. So here we know Tabitha started in the middle of the ladder. She moved several times in different directions and she ended at the top of the ladder. We want to find out how many rungs the ladder has. So there's our problem. Devising a plan, we may find that making a diagram of her movements and what that shows us might be helpful here. So let's jump into that strategy. So here we have our diagram. We've got a rung at start right in the middle. So the first thing Tabitha does is she climbs up five. So from the middle, we've now got Tabitha up five. After that, it says that she moved down two rungs. So her next movement brought her down two. From there, Tabitha climbed up seven rungs. From there, she climbed up the top two more rungs to reach the very top of the ladder. So we have our completed diagram here. So let's ask ourselves some questions. How many rungs based on our diagram are there from the middle to the top rung? Well, just counting out in our picture there, we notice that there are 12 rungs to get from the middle to the top. So knowing what we know about how middle works, if there are 12 rungs from the middle to the top, how many rungs should there be from the middle to the bottom? Well, middle implies the same amount up top, the same amount on bottom. So there are 12 rungs from the middle to the bottom. So how many rungs would that make in total? Well, there would be 12 on top, plus the middle rung itself, plus 12 on bottom, to give us a total of 25 rungs. So there we have our final answer. Given this information and the diagram we created, there are 25 rungs on the ladder. Don't forget the final step of your problem solving process, which is to look back. Make sure that your answer answers the question posed and think about was the strategy you used appropriate in the scenario? Could you have done anything different? Explore those answers with each problem. All right, guys, that does it for this video on problem solving strategy, make a diagram. We'll catch you in the next one.